uh, for a biped. Basically what this allows you to do is create a biped skeleton. So I just simply come in here and say create new skeleton. And I'm going to throw this onto a shelf so I can get a little bit brighter display color there. There we go. So, so now you can see I can go in here and drag these sliders and I can update the bone count. I can give them you know, eight spine joints or I can give them two spine joints. I can go in and say, well, I really need some roll bones in the arm. So I'll go in there and I'll add some upper arm roll bones for the forearm and the, and the uh, upper legs or something like that. So I can turn those on and off. I can go in and I can remove certain joint chains. For the feet, for instance, I don't necessarily need all those toes. So I can go in and I can get rid of uh, the pinky toe, index ring, big toe, and so on, leaving me just one single bone for the foot. I can dial down the number of joints. I can even make specific edits. I can come in here and I can say, well, that toe needs to be a little bit longer. Maybe I need to raise that up a little bit or whatever. And then I can basically, whoops, and then I can basically apply that to the other side of the character just by mirroring it over. So another cool thing that we can do now is save out templates for the skeleton. So I can actually go in and take the skeleton, all the changes that I've made, I can push that out to an external file that's just a descriptor, basically, an XML file. And then I can load that back onto any other character. So I just simply go to import, I find a, a file that I've saved, and now it applies all those edits to the character, or to the skeleton. So that's the skeleton builder. I'll talk more about human IK in a second. But I want to get into some skinning stuff. So what we can do now.